Hello, and we are back in Ulverston after our hike to Beacon Tarn. And um, I thought I'd do a little review about what was in my pack, uh, given that I managed to get my pack weight down to five kilos for an overnight wild camp, which I think isn't too bad, really. I'll just move this little dog out the way. Come here, sweetness, over here. Come on. There we are. So let's start with the main stuff. One thing that I wanted to do was make sure that I was actually taking a full complement of uh, wild camping equipment. And that included a proper tent. So I actually um, packed and used this, which is my Dorsten XMID 2. Pop that down there. Now, next, and just as importantly, was the pack. And this is a Montaigne Trailblazer 18 litre pack. It's got a, a running style harness on it with uh, two pockets either side. It can take a bottle of water or your phone. And it's got side pouches which are really stretchy and you can fit loads in. And I'll get to them in a minute with you. Um, but this is the pack I chose to use. And I would say it was just big enough to actually take what we needed. It's comfortable and it lets you uh, it lets you have a little jog if you so wish. And when we were coming back, I actually let me get this thing out the way. <laughs> when we were uh, on our way back, I, I I jogged on and off quite a bit because it was so light and so comfortable that uh, felt I was able to. Not on the uphills, I, I would add. Let me just show you this. This is in included in the weight. And this is a bag of chorus food. The reason I'm showing you it now is because it's driving her mad. She's due her um, dinner, so I'm going to give her it. That should keep her occupied for maybe three minutes. Right, so in the main compartment, I had this, which is my black diamond uh, body warmer it's padded and it's also got merino wool and uh, i might do a review on this because i'm quite impressed by it it's a good option rather than taking a down jacket i had my often seen eddie bauer lightweight fleece hoodie love this absolutely love it it's brilliant Also inside was this, and it's my Sea to Summit Ultralight Sleep Mat. And this is actually a really good sleep mat. Unfortunately, um, while we were camping last night, it let me down. And that was my fault, because the uh, little covers off my uh, burner, I accidentally put it on the floor, and forgot they were there, put the mat on top of it, and I tore it. But uh, we got by without an emergency blanket and all that. I'm sure if you watch the other video, you'll see how I managed to get through the night without an inflated mat. Now, one of the other things I've got here is an Alp, Alp Kit cloud cover. It's basically a down blanket um, or a down quilt. And you can put a small footbox on it. That's great for one season. If it's a nice warm night, it's brilliant. If it starts to get chilly, it ain't so good. Um, I used it with my fleece hoodie on and I was absolutely fine last night. Uh, I think it went down to about 10 degrees or something, so it was quite a warm night. And that, I think, yeah, that's everything that was in the main compartment. So I've also got a front zipper compartment here. And uh, I packed this 400ml mug, titanium mug, made by Keith, which is my name if you don't know it, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, little methylated spirit burner. 
a sort of very light thin aluminium windbreak from a cooker. They work great. I, I don't use spirit burners very often, I prefer a gas canister, but for an overnighter it's definitely lighter compared to a gas canister. And you know what? It, it boiled the water quite quickly so I wasn't uh, sitting there frustrated like, oh when's it going to boil? What else we got in here? Uh, a couple of painkillers, a coffee, my Cetus Summit long spoon, plastic, it's lighter than the titanium ones. I've got, come here darling, come here. I've got a little bottle here with methylated spirit in. Yeah, I don't know with it. Oh, I <laughs> got you with a judo throw. Um, just some extra methylated spirits. Didn't use it, didn't need to. I had enough in the actual burner, but it was good to take a bit of a spirit, spirit with me. Um, what else have we got down on the bottom? Ah, yeah, so I've got a little plastic bidet in case I need it to go for uh, a number two. I've got this, which is a midge, uh, midgey face net, put it over your head, and an inhaler, uh, very mild asthma. Don't have to need it, but uh, it's certainly worth taking. So that's that part. In the side compartment, what have we got? Cora's bowl, my Ron Hill Stroke Mountain Equipment Gore-Tex jacket, really good jacket. That's it on that side. What have we got over here? So, got a compass just in case, and I've got my 500ml Pure Clear Water Purifier. Brilliant piece of kit, really cleans the water properly, um, takes all the bugs out, much better than just a normal filter. Spare batteries for my GoPro, a flex tail inflatable pillow, once again another good piece of kit. Um, this is my used uh, expedition foods that I took with us. Um, sweet and sour chicken with rice. Yeah, so you can smell it. Uh, that would that was in the main compartment though. Just that I used it, so I wrapped it up and put it in there. I've got a pair of sunglasses, and I think uh, a couple of. First aid bits and bobs and a blister pack, some poo bags. Let's see what we've got in the back here. I've got a carrier bag, just for me rubbish. And we've got my GPS communication device, just for emergencies. It's an old one, so it's much bigger than the uh, the minis that you can get now but it works and I've got shoved in here is my foil blanket uh, which I used while I was camping because my math burst so that went on the bottom with everything shove that back in the bottom oh yes in this pocket it's turned on My, what's it called? Sunblisa uh, head torch. Got this free off the company about six months ago, and uh, it's really light and it works, so I've kept it. My phone and little bits of metal that you cross to put on top of the burner. The offending item which burnt my, uh, didn't burn it at all, which burst my sleep mat. And I think that's it, yeah. So that is everything that I took along yeah, in my pack, which weighed in at uh, five kilos, which was 11 pounds. Um, didn't feel I wanted for anything. Um, 
and it worked so there you go so if you want to go really ultra light it is possible without too many compromises hope you've enjoyed this video if you have uh, give us a little thumbs up and subscribe if you want but yeah, more than anything enjoy the videos take care and i'll see you very soon bye